Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is JR Looks. If you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, and share. Yo, um, thank you to everybody that's been donating to the channel continuously. Yo, I appreciate the support. Um, you know who you are. Um, for those who would like to donate, my cash app is dollar sign JR Looks. That's dollar sign JR Looks, right? <sighs> okay. So today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Scorpio, right? That's Scorpio in all placements, sun, moon, rising, and in the north, right? Um, so Scorpio, your channeled song is uh, Carmel by City High. So if you know the song, sing along. Everywhere I go, I'm spotted. And everything I want, I got it. Far, far for brown eyes. Smile like the sunshine, right? So, a okay, boom. Somebody has very pretty skin here, right? I'm talking about skin. You can, like, like butter skin. You can lick it, right? Somebody has really nice skin, right? Um, you can also be 5'5", five, 5'3", five, 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 that, like, itty-bitty size, that yum-yum, eat them up size, right? Somebody can be really short, really small. Um, also feel like you can be really wholesome because in the song it talks about, um, she says... I enjoy quiet nights at home to curl up next to you, though I ain't a virgin, that don't mean I'm having sex with you. So this is somebody that can chill with you, somebody that can be cool, like really be a friend. Like, um, uh, yeah, just like, I just see like the love and basketball when they was kids at first and, and was wrestling and fighting, right? But still can play video games and whatnot. I feel like this is somebody that can be your friend. Also like some real platonic shit, like, but yes, they're very pretty. They light, you light up the room that you go into. Um, you got a vibe and energy about you, right? It's just like when you step on the scene, like you just illuminate shit, right? So that that, that was your channel song. I feel like, well, you can have colored eyes also, right? I just seen green eyes. All this, although the song is caramel, um, caramel eyes would be considered almost like, like oranges, right? So you can have a tint to your eyes, right? You could have colored eyes, right? I, I feel like your eyes could be a real significant feature about you, Scorpio, right? Um, but I, I feel like you're really wholesome, right? I also feel like you fine as a motherfucker, right? Like, fine as shit. City High, that song on Carmel, right? That was like a big, that was a big, big, huge, big song, right? So I feel like, yo, you a big deal, like, <laughs> like, fine, right? Okay, so that's your channel song, Scorpio, Car uh, Carmel by City High. Yo, so your message is, um, pardon me, would you happen to have any great Poupon, right? Um, now, that was a big marketing campaign from the 90s, right? Where, um, well, I'll, well, I'll get into that here in a second, yo. So, uh, Scorpio, your downloads are... The in crowd... Excuse me. Excuse me. So your downloads are the in crowd, upper society, instant respect, luxury, taste, affluence, status symbol, elegance, prominent family or background, um, class, nepotism, top... Top Chef, Creme de la Creme, um, The Final Things, Wine and Dine, Business Deals, Acquired Taste. Um, eat some fruits and veggies, salads, and or take your vitamins. California, Misunderstood, Prima Donna, Horseradish, Steak or an Expensive Meat, Bitter with the Sweet, You don't look like what you've been through. Um, penalized for being favored. Uh, you make people think you put a spell on them, and you probably did. I'm gonna say that one more time, uh, Scorpio. And you could be dealing with a Capricorn because I started to say Capricorn, which is an earth sign. But I feel like Scorpio, you make people think you put a spell on them, and you probably did. Uh, because you're the death card, Scorpio. You, you rule all things witchy, you know, and shit like that that deals with the occult. And I'm not talking about no Alakazam type shit. I'm talking about, like, Scorpio, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yo, 
big game hunters, right? And what I mean by big game hunters, yo, if you if you, if you looking for something exotic, some shit that's about to be endangered, you can't just use anything, right? They 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 might have a special diet, right? So you go get this special diet and put it in places only where this animal's gonna get it. So don't be surprised when they come up, you can look and act coy around this motherfucker, which is shy or acting like you didn't know what's going on. So yes, I feel like Scorpio also. You, yeah, when, 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 if a motherfucker able to realize what's going on, yo, they probably right. You probably didn't done some shit. And I'm not talking about no Alakazam shit, but that's on some wig. That, that's another one. We, like I was gonna say, uh, bait and reel. The kind of bait you use and how you cast your reels is a lot different than us humans, right? <laughs> so, yeah, Scorpio. Uh, Certain people be knowing what's going on, and, and, and you be trying to act like you, like you ain't know what it is, like it ain't what it is, right? Uh, that's that see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Uh, Scorpio, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, raw eggs, specific, uh, under a microscope, mute, mute than under a microscope, right? Okay. Yo, so, Grey Poupon um, was a big mustard, Dijon mustard marketing campaign back in like the 70s, the 80s, but it kind of took off in the 90s, right? So the premise was that you had this jar of mustard, yo, it was considered like the final things in life. It would show two, two dudes pulling up in a Rolls Royce and they pull up at the light. Right, and the road windows down, right? And, and one dude reaches out to the other one and said, pardon me, would you happen to have any Grey Poupon, right? And, I'm doing a, and, the, and the other guy says, of course. So it, it shows the mustard being a uh, hand across, you know, in traffic. But that was, a, that was, that, that symbolized status, right? Because this was in the 90s. So if that jar of mustard cost six, seven bucks, that's a lot in the 90s because you got to figure Martin and living single, when, when they was in work, you know, uh, it's 2023, but in the 90s, yo, they were getting, Martin was getting 447 working at the, um, at the, uh, at the radio station. So it's like, uh, that was a big deal back then. So Great Poupon was considered top notch, right? Motherfucker had that, it, it considered, it was considered elegance. Uh, it was a status symbol, right? It was class. It was top shelf. It was considered the finer things in life. Like they used to put that in between lifestyles of the rich and famous, right? Like to weave it in, right? They had a British dude doing the commercial with the accent. So yo, there was a nice. They 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 packaged it really nice, right? If you yo, it represented yo top shelf shit, right? So um, this was this was the message you wanted to have, right? It, yo, it it, rep it, it, yo, it represented class. So here's the flip side of it. If you didn't know about this mustard, right? Let's say if you were accustomed to this mustard, uh, where you, you had it around your house growing up, because me personally, I didn't. I might have seen that shit like once in the house, right? Um, but if you were accustomed to having this in the house and you were accustomed to putting this on your hot dog instead of mustard, right? And somebody invites you to a bar, right? And you go in there and ask and ask, yo, what would you like for your hot dog? And you say, uh, Grey Poupon. They gonna look at you. They gonna go back and tell the people in the back and say, "Hey man, somebody asked for Grey Poupon." The first things they gonna say is, "Hey man, if it ain't Brad Pitt out there, we got an asshole on our hands." Because they gonna be like, "Who the fuck would ask for Grey Poupon?" Only somebody accustomed to it. So I also feel like you get me, uh, uh, Scorpio. You could be misunderstood. People could call you prima donna uh, because. Um, You're used to this, right? Uh, you come from this, right? You, right? You're used to having this at the house. This is something that you that you've been around, right? So I said that to say, pardon me. Do you have any great poupon? I feel like people get it fucked up when they see you, right? They don't know you got to take the bitter with the sweet with whatever it is that you do, Scorpio, because. Uh, great poupon has horseradish in it, which is acquired taste. Horseradish has a bitter taste. But the longer you eat it, the sweeter it becomes. But when you initially taste it and spit it out, it's still bitter, right? You didn't give it time to really marinate, right? So I said that to say, um, and then not only that, horseradish has to be eaten on a certain kind of meat, like steak or, or something that you get you get used to eating it on because 
The first time I've had horseradish when I was younger, I tried it. I'm like, yo, who would eat this shit? And left it in the freezer. My mother used to work at the casino, so I didn't know you put horseradish on a steak, right? So a couple, about a few months ago, I just had it on a steak. And I'm like, yo, this shit is amazing. This is what it's been for the whole time. So it's acquired taste, right? So people get people are misunderstood, right? Because not only is acquired taste, it, it represents top notch. So you could have grew up with having money, right? You could have grew up in a, in a, in a double parent household. Uh, y'all could have y'all y'all could have again notable background. Um, you didn't, right? Your parents was fortunate enough to put y'all in a better situation when they had y'all, and people penalized that. You could stay in California, a better part of California. I feel like people penalized you for the favor that you had, right? So you grew up misunderstood. Um, um, like people gave you a hard time for having the nice shit that you have, or 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 how things were just. They can say they feel like you was growing. You grew up with a silver spoon, right? I also feel like. Um, you don't look like what you've been through. They, if, if you didn't grow up in an area like this, right? You still look like somebody who grew. You you, you look like a, a princey or princely motherfucker. Somebody who went to college or a grad. Like I feel like, um, uh, yes, you, you you strike people as somebody who's who, who's who's bougie, right? Who, who who who's uppity for whatever reason. These are people's own insecurities. You rub people like that. I also feel like on the flip side, yo, yo, Scorpio, whatever you've been going through, that shit is over with. You are getting ready to get introduced to the lifestyle of the rich and famous, right? Like essentially the rags to riches. So on the flip side, pardon me, do you have any gray poupon? Yo, that's that kind of living. I'm feeling like, yo, some uh, some fresh print shit is really about to happen for you, right? Like you could go from right the streets to like the mansion right again to where you able to pull you able to pull up in certain areas and, and where you see a whole uh, uh damn near a, another motherfucker in a range i mean a range rover or thank you god i hope it's a range rover coming for me and you but you're able to see somebody else in another car like a luxury car and pull up and say pardon me do you have any gray poupon and they would laugh and get the joke i feel like you're about to experience the better things of life right you've been going through so much shit scorpio you made it out to the other side i feel like this is the end of Sharshake redemption the motherfucker had to crawl through all the shit they went through right just to get to the end of the tunnel and and, and like and he spent years doing this so i think andy did like 15 16 years in a shot shape redemption yo but at the end he got his justice and he made it out with what, 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 what would be equivalent to in in our times to millions of dollars right so i feel like yo it's time for you to experience the better things of life lifestyles of the rich and fam rich and famous upper society right where you get instant respect right so again um you don't look like what you've been through you look like you come from that again this might this this goes to saying yo you could have uh, family members who are in prominent positions in society right or this could this could be you uh being being hoisted to a prominent position in society for something you do online or something some kind of public performance or something you do with the public right this could be you right being getting ready to be introduced to this right business deals because again in the in the commercial it's business man right yo so this is big uh big big business right um but again, I feel like people feel like uh, <laughs> you could right, you could be prima donna. Like again, you used to that, and it's not saying used to that in the sense like being spoiled or pampered. But again, it's um, this uh, this uh, not this uh, yeah, this uh, muscle essentially great poupon. It's a it's acquired taste. Although it represents a status symbol, yo, when you taste it, it's not exactly like. Yo, just like oh, this is this is good. No, part of your, part of it, part of it is a placebo effect for it. It's to cost this much, no matter what this shit tastes like. I'm gonna say it tastes good, but secondly, yo, if you like horseradish or if you know if you like mustard, right? There's white wine in it. So however it's put together, after a while you're gonna have, you know that in order for this to get good, you have to continue to eat it, right? It's one of those things like that. That's what I'm saying. This is acquired taste, so. I feel like people get it fucked up when you ask for this. When it's like when yeah, I feel like yo, when I mean people get it fucked up when I say acquired taste, I seen like in my mind's eye, somebody like a bodybuilder drinking like three or four eggs. He didn't crack them and put them in things, stir them and drink them. 
like that kind of commitment and people be like yo that's crazy you can catch this that and the third but a lot of people don't know or do know like that's the surest best protein shake you can get like this shit really like just yo that's like straight protein right so i feel like yo you that kind of misunderstood that like, you have to be having a quiet taste to be able to do that on the regular right so yeah, Scorpio, I feel like yo, if you are if you are if you haven't come from that, yo, get ready to experience the finer things in life, right? To where everywhere you go, you spot it, right? To everything you want, you got it, right? Like yo, it's your turn to get spoiled, Scorpio. Like yo, it's, you about to have it your way on some Burger King shit, right? Um, but like, like literally on some, I see I see in my mind's eye pulling up at the light. On, on, on some hood shit, literally getting somebody to roll the window down and say, pardon me, do you have any great poupon? On some childhood dream shit, I feel like it's gonna really go your way, yo. And I'm happy for you, Scorpio. I feel like you really deserve it. Yo, for me to feel like this, yo, and it be, um, yeah, and again, if you know that commercial, you know what that means. It means like you really made it, you bought a great poupon. Yo, that's like big deal. I feel like it's your turn, right? So let's have get an oracle message for you, Scorpio. As usual, I've already saved the cards. Right? Scorpio, it's your world, right? I feel it. So Scorpio, your oracle message is. It's your world, Scorpio. Get ready for the lifestyle, right? White wine, wine and dine. All right. This is what it feels like. I also feel like, yo, if you was trying to, you hit your mark. If you were trying to, uh, if you shot your shot, you made it, right? You uh, you hit big game hunter, right? Whatever bait you use, right? I, I feel like you hit your you hit your mark too. So Scorpio, your oracle message is. <laughs> We have witness, personal evidence to speak out. Witness, personal evidence to, to speak out, right? One and nine, is two, nine and two is 11, 11, 11 equals two. So I feel like, of course, right off the dribble, you could have seen something, Scorpio, what'd you see, right? What you know is say no personal evidence to speak out. Um, Scorpio, you was doing research on somebody I feel like somebody knows some, something, somebody has something to tell you, right? Somebody could have been uh, down with what's going on, right? Um, yo, somebody got some six, yo, somebody's hit, right? Somebody, I, I feel like, yo, if this isn't you, Scorpio, if you don't have inside information about the current situation that, that somebody else is going through, right? That somebody else is dealing with, that you've seen something, right? That's right, this could be you actually witnessing something. If this isn't you, I feel like this is this is concerning you. Somebody has something to tell you, right? Somebody's seeing something in, in reference to you. Somebody has something to tell you, right? So that's your oracle message, Scorpio. Witness, right? To know personal evidence to speak out, right? So your current energy, Scorpio. Is and this is a nightmare before Christmas deck. Scorpio, your current energy is five of cups. What happened? Something happened. Something didn't go right, right? This is the part of the whatever dream that, that Jack had when he was trying to be Santa Claus. He was flying over. They shot it down, right? So so, uh, so, uh, you, so, if you're going through something, I feel like somebody, whatever you're going through, uh, it was it was a mutual, a mutual mission to bring you down, right? Because here, uh, there was, this is Jack thinking he's soaring and and they call in the police on him and he's in the sky and they shoot his shit down. So I feel like this was a group effort to, to bring something to a conclusion where you sad and depressed about something, right? So something happened, right? This is like somebody trying to shit on your parade, somebody trying to piss on your parade. So I feel like somebody wants to come in and let you know what this was about, whatever this loss was, whatever this heartbreak, pain, betrayal that was caused, this group effort, somebody wants to let you know what was going on concerning this, right? Somebody has somebody has something to tell you about this, right? If this isn't you wanting to wanting to come clean about a situation, this is somebody else wanting to say, hey, yo, I I I want to I want to tell you what's up because if nine and two acts eleven, 
and and here's a five, right? That goes to seven, which is scheming, uh, uh, strategizing, and planning. So I feel like somebody wants to come clean about a situation uh, and their involvement in it, if this isn't you. All right. And this energy is clarified with... Oh, uh, that went... <laughs> You know, that kind of, you know. But hey, here we are. Yo, and this energy is clarified with. Yo, the ten of, to the Ten of Cups, right? Look, we go to the ending, right? We go from the Five of Cups to the Ten of Cups, right? Somebody wants to tell you about a situation, the reason why I feel like these are relationships because Cups represents a relationship. So somebody wants to come in and tell you, they feel sad about losing you. They feel sad about the relationship and how things ended. Somebody feels, somebody's in regret about how things ended in between you or how things are going to end once they find, once somebody brings something to you, right? It's like, yo, if this 10 of cups, if this these 10 of potions are potions, it feels like, yo, I feel like somebody's going to say something to you or you're going to find out about something which makes a spell or something wear, wear off, right? If you are under a spell or some sort of illusion, right? This evidence, this you're gonna find out. However, you find out about it, right? Uh, you're gonna be disappointed. It's going to ultimately bring a relationship to an end, or whatever kind of illusion or thought process you had about somebody. That's just gonna to come to an end, right? Somebody's going. You're gonna find out or uncover something, right? However, you do, right? To know, right? This can be through into into through intuition, right? Personal evidence is right. This is great observation. Somebody can have a, a great scientific mind. There could be a process on how you do it, right? Um, but this says witness, like I say, so I, I, again, I feel like um, something, some sort, some sort of information, right? Because now I just seen two of swords, right? Some sort of information is going to come to, to the light, which is going to essentially end, end the way you perceive somebody or view something or some, this entity or whatever it is, right? It's like, it's like literally waking up from a spell, right? So I feel like, because look, Jack is he's getting a hang, like holding his head like it's a hangover. Although this is part he got shot down. Yo, know, he's, he's holding his head like he's like these bottles are on the ground. And it's just all of these shit. These are ten, ten of cups and, and these are endings, right? I, what's it? I feel like this shit wore off, right? Something about how something ended. Right, y'all. You know, so your car moving forward is somebody's going to wake you up, right? I feel like somebody's going to put you on some game, right? That's going to save you, right? Somebody's gonna do you a solid, right? Somebody gonna wake you up. Somebody's going to wake your game up. Can somebody say to me in the, in the, in the comments, wake your game up? Let me put you on a game, wake your game up. Can somebody say to me in the comments, wake your game up? Can somebody say to me in the comments, wake your game up? Somebody gonna wake your game up. Somebody got some shit for your ear. Somebody got some shit you need to hear, right? Yo, so your car moving forward is. Justice in reverse, right? Uh, again, rake your game up. Somebody gonna hit you to some, some foul shit somebody was trying to do with you, right? But it's just not going to work, right? This bad decision, whatever some whatever this was concerning, somebody's gonna really hit you to what they were trying to do. This could have been with some documents or or whatever whatever it is was like that that had to do with I just I just heard properties and wills and and things of that that nature. Like if somebody tried to do some fraudulent paperwork, right? Uh, I feel like I just I feel like somebody gonna try to come forward to to, to vindicate themselves. Right, but but to really give you some disheartening news that can, about family or family money or whatever the case may be, right? Um, you know, right. Somebody try to do some real some real live bad shit to you, but you know the justice was a bad decision, right? You are gonna get karma for this, right? Because um, this is justice in a bad way. So what you reap, you shall sow, right? Whatever measure you measure with, it be measured onto you. So whatever emotion, again, I said this in a, a reading not too long ago. Whatever somebody dust, dished out for whatever reason, y'all, you protect it. So this shit's like a boomerang is going back to you, right? I feel like somebody, somebody gonna get, somebody gave you a, a clue that wake, that woke you up, right? And I feel like, yo, it, whatever this was didn't last as long as it was supposed to last because you end, you go from the five of cups to the five, to the ten of cups, right? So it was actually you might some something happened 
that made, that you was able to skip a lot of that and just get right to the ending of it. You really didn't miss much, right? And this was designed to really slow you down or screw you off. And it's like, yo, this shit, this shit didn't work. So um, thank your ancestors and your spirit, guys. Somebody's been, uh, what did Ella Reed say? <laughs> thank God somebody was watching out for you. Right, somebody loves you, baby, right? I feel like um, your spirit guys are on it, right? Anything somebody tries to uh, do on you that ain't in the right, it's coming back to them. <sighs> thank you, God. Yo, and with that being said, yo, thank you for watching my channel again. If you would like to donate, my cash up is dollar sign JR Looks. That's dollar sign JR Looks. Yo, have a wonderful day and be blessed.